Hello, my name is Carl Surrey and this is a video tutorial for the Facebook group called Fans of Serif Software. Now, I just saw this tool effect, whatever you want to call it, in somebody else's video tutorial and I, and I didn't know this was something you could do. So I'm just going to make a very, hopefully a very short and quick video to point out this tool so that you can use it in your future projects. Now, to show you the example of this, I've got this image of a firework and I've got this image of the night sky. This one definitely came from pixabay.com and I'm fairly certain that this one would have done because I get most of my images from royalty-free websites like Pixabay and there are a few others. Now, Traditionally, if I was going to put this firework image into the night sky image, I would have done like select, select all, edit, copy, come to the nighttime image, and then edit and paste. And then I would have just changed the blending mode from normal to screen. Now, it's sort of it's almost perfect, but I don't know whether you can see this, but down here you can see the outline of where the image firework image is because partly because the firework image is black sky it was sort of a much blacker than the one I'm putting it into, so the join between where this is and where the firework image isn't is noticeable. And obviously I could have deleted this, um, but I'm going to delete this now completely and show you this new way that I've just discovered. So I'll press Ctrl and D to get rid of that selection area. So a different way of doing this, and which is probably very useful for images like this where there are a lot of spikes you could do like water drops or what have you um or you know where there's lots of things that you want to select but they're sort of all over the place and it would take hours to physically do this all by hand if you have an image like this you can come up to the select menu and come down to select sampled color and it will bring up this tolerance box here which you you can change but you can also select which color you want to be sampled I think by default this is doing the black which is what I want but I will just show you if I click somewhere here in the red it will select that area so whichever color you're gonna want selected you can do it this way but like I said it's the black that I want to select so I'm gonna come up and click on the black and then you can alter the tolerance of how much you want to be selected. Now I'm going to come slightly higher because I don't mind losing some of this red smoke around the right hand edge here. Um, but I do want some of it to be left so I'm going to draw that in like that. Click apply and then I'm just going to press the delete key and then that gets rid of all the black in one hit and if I now press Control and D to get rid of the selection area you can see that I have this firework pretty much all selected so if this was me I would save this now as a PNG file without the background so you've always got this firework ready cut out for future use but once you have saved it in my view, you can just do again like before, select all, edit, copy, come to night night sky image and then paste. And there you have it with because it's the black's all been taken away, there's no line showing where the edges of where it was. So much like a normal image, you can then resize it, reposition it, and that is quickly how that tool works.
hope this will be of some use to people. Thank you for watching and goodbye.